Hey YouTube, this is Victor from San Diego Mac Repair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up your Mac. If your machine is running a little bit slower than your normal and you want to take a look behind the scenes, I'm going to show you how to do this next. Uh, first step, we're going to open uh, Spotlight Search. So we're going to hit Command on your keyboard and Spacebar at the same time. That's a shortcut. Or alternatively, you can select the Spotlight Search by the little magnifying glass up by, your, by the menu bar here up top. So type in Activity Monitor. And here we are. I'm looking at memory used. Uh, that's the that's not the default. The default will be CPU, and you'll see that if there's anything red, you'll want to click on it and then shut it off by hitting the X right up top here. As you can see, the CPU load on my machine is pretty good. It's down very little. Yours may spike because you have uh, some stuff not responding. Uh, more importantly, we want to go to memory. Uh, there's there's a few numbers here that make a huge difference here. Uh, physical memory is what you have installed in your Mac. Um, so if you're at four gigabytes and you're running anything above 10.10 .10 Yosemite, you you may have uh, issues. Uh, so we can consult uh, consult with you about upgrading that RAM or seeing what's available for your machine. Um, and mine, I have eight, which is pretty good. And uh, memory use is only about 3.7 on Sierra, which is quite good. Um, here's the biggest difference. So if you're in swap use and you have this number filling up, that means that your hard drive is actually compensating for the lack of memory that's in your in your machine. And uh, when I refer to RAM, that's the resources that your machine has available to operate. And uh, these are two sticks that, uh, depending on which model of machine you have, can be upgraded and uh, is a worthwhile upgrade, especially on machines older than three or four years old. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to the next step, which is actually going to be clearing out launch agents and launch daemons, um, which start up when your machine starts up, overall causing slowness. So Command Q, we can get out of this guy. And next step, we're going to be on the Finder. Make sure Finder is up top on the left-hand side. You're on the desktop. Uh, next step, click, hold the Option key on your keyboard, and then go to Go. And you should see Library. Uh, library will appear in, on any operating system above 10.7 and above here. So I'm on Sierra, so you can see here. Uh, we will be in library. Now you may have a bunch of uh, folders scattered around, but I want you to go into, uh, it's called column view. It's going to be right up here. I'm already on it. But on the right side, you should see a bunch of folders starting with accounts and going all the way down to WebKit. I want you to click on Launch Agents, and you'll see a bunch of scripts here, .plist files. Now these are not uh, very useful for, these are not gonna damage your machine in any way by removing all these. I, re I recommend removing all scripts here. Uh, by clicking on one and Command A, or just highlighting them and dragging them into the trash, which I've already done here. Next step, you're gonna wanna go to the root directory, which is all at the very beginning under Macintosh HD library and you're going to want to do the same thing for launch agents and launch daemons so I don't have anything here because I already removed them and move to trash and then go, go to the trash can and hit empty empty again perfect and that should be it the next step I want you to do is do go to the, go to the Apple logo hit shut down and uncheck this box it's very important because your machine will reload, will load into, or will save into memory anything that's open, causing a delay when the computer boots back up. Okay. Now I recommend shutting it down and then coming back on. I'm going to show you what to do next as far as doing what's called a PRAM reset. So stay tuned on the next video, and I'll show physically how that happens. In this part of the video, we're going to show you how to reset the PRAM of your Mac. Uh, this applies to any MacBook iMac or Mac Mini, Mac Pro, that sort of thing. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the machine is completely powered off. Uh, mine's completely powered down. Uh, you're going to want to get into position as far as keyboard goes. You're going to want to uh, select the command option key right next to the spacebar and R. And this can be done one-handed, but I would recommend two hands for this next step. Uh, so you're going to want to hold down the P key and turn on the Mac. Continue holding down this combination your machine will boot up and it will actually restart. You're going to want to continue holding down for at least three or four reboots. It's very important because this is actually rebooting, this is actually resetting the PRAM uh, of your Mac. So give it one more time and let go. 
Um, so once you're on the splash screen there, uh, you can continue to the next step, which is going to be optimization and uh, just a couple of tips and tricks on how to uh, schedule maintenance on your Mac. Thank you. Earlier in the video, you may recall the activity monitor. I want you to uh, go ahead and open that up for me. Go to command op spacebar and spotlight search activity monitor. All right. Now, as you can see, uh, we've actually gotten quite a bit more performance out of our Mac by showing the memory used here. It's down to only about 2.95, which is great. Yours should, al yours should also be uh, lower in addition to that. It should be around the two or three mark. And uh, yeah, everything looks great there. So we're gonna actually do Command Q, get out of that menu. And let's go to Apple and System Preferences. Uh, next thing I wanna show you is Energy Saver. I know it it's, uh, can be easier just to close the lid and forget about the Mac or just uh, go to sleep and let it do its thing. Uh, what I want you, what I really wanted to show you was schedule. This is great for any desktop computers that are, uh, your, you know, that you, uh, they use for your work and uh, you can set up a schedule. Um, we can actually uh, select every day to start up the computer at, let's say you work at six, let's say you work at 7 a.m. and you want the computer to turn on six, we could do that. Uh, but this next step is actually the most important, is shutting down. We can tell the computer shut down every day at 12, 12 a.m., regardless of what it's doing. And that will make sure that your computers are turning off on time, or you can also do uh, a varying schedule as well. And uh, yeah, if we can do weekdays or whatnot, and then we'll just do weekdays and enter and save it, and then hit the red button, and that's actually programmed to save the changes. Um, as far as optimization goes, the greatest thing about Mac is actually do it does it by itself. So a lot of the tuning up, that uh, defragmentation, that sort of thing uh, that needs to happen, it does it by itself. But you can go to Spacebar and Command again, and we'll open up Disk Utility. Now that we have Disk Utility open, I'm going to show you how to check for any errors in your file system which is the uh, that's like the foundation of your of your of your computer and hit run I'm not going to run it because it'll uh, it'll take a while to do it so just prepare for at least um, about 15 or be perfect so if you have any questions uh, you can call San Diego Mac Repair at 858-375-9757 we're available Monday through Saturday uh, 10 to 6 here at 7734 Herschel Avenue Suite J in the Hawaii, California, 92037. We look forward to helping you if you have any, uh, any needs for your Macs or want to get a, any upgrades done on your Mac Mini, Mac, iMac, MacBook Pro, that sort of thing. Uh, thank you for watching this video, YouTube channel, and like our video. Thank you so much. Have a good day.